welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is The Groom, and we watched the new A24 John Talk to Me. We actually caught this in theaters, so I'm like hella proud of us for going out to see a movie. It we watched nice. it on Labor Day, and there were two other people in the theater. It's my best way to, my favorite way to watch a movie. Yeah. It's with nobody else. I was kind of bummed that they showed up, to be honest. <laughs> they showed it was, up late, too. Yeah, it was We almost it was had nice. the theater to ourselves. But we, we almost did. Um, this is not like a A24 produced movie. They bought this movie, and they made a really, really solid choice, in my opinion. Um, our movie centralizes around the characters of Mia, Jade, and Riley. So Mia lost her mom i think she said it was the two-year remembrance mm -hmm. of losing her mom she lives with her dad whom she's not like super close with as we see like there's a lot of strain on their relationship which i would understand like you're a teenager that's hard you lose your, your parent that's got to be very difficult and she spends a lot of time at her best friend jade's house uh as you do as a teenager you're like rarely home you're just chilling everywhere and she's very close with Jade's younger brother, Riley, um, which is cute. Like, she's kind of like the the secondary sister to him. And she actually picks him up when, <laughs> when Jade yeah, forgets him. Jade doesn't uh, answer her phone because she's just kind of like hooked on this guy whose name I cannot remember. But he's also, like, one of the main characters in this. And there was talk that, like, at one point, him and Mia kind of had something going on. They held hands. They held hands. Which is, like, super serious when, you're, when you're young, you know. Um, so, uh, they're just, like, playing on their phones. And they keep seeing what I presume are, like, Snapchats or TikToks of people playing this weird possession thing. Which, like... It was kind of shocking to me that they weren't like, oh, there's this thing that supposedly happens. They were like, oh, no, this thing is happening, and this is how you do it, and these are all the people that, like, are taking these spirits in. So it's essentially, like, this little hand, and you hold the hand and say, talk to me. They set a timer. You can't be in longer than 90 seconds, or they might want to stay, which is terrifying. And, uh... You say, talk to me, then you say, I let you in, and then they can't be in longer than 90 seconds, or you're effed. Yeah, they light the candle before all this. To open the to door. To open the door, and then they, before the 90 seconds, they rip you from the hand. They pretty much separate you in this ceramic, like, crazy hand, and they, once you're separated from the hand, they blow out the candle, which shuts the door, which means they don't come back, yada, yada. And it's the craziest part is is that the kids were like treating this like a drug. Yeah. Like they were yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I wanna do it, I wanna do it again, I wanna do it again. And their original like uh Mia and Jade originally go to this party where they're doing this to debunk it. Because they think it's complete bullshit. And they're like, We're gonna go deep de we're gonna go debunk this because it's not real and it's you know, they're making it up, they're doing it for clout, they're doing it for views yada 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 and then they go to the party where this crazy severed ceramic hand and they have a bunch of different stories about it. it's the hand of like a gypsy it's the hand of a psychic it's the, the hand, hand of, of like a, a satanist, satanist and who knows where the other hand is and who know, yeah you know the other hand could be coming after yeah you. who knows so they like they go there and they were like who wants to try it and mia's like screw it i will do it and then that's when the madness starts and I feel as though Mia's intentions going into this weren't necessarily debunking it as much as it was like, maybe I could talk to my mom. Yeah. Jade wanted to debunk it. Yeah. Jade, yeah. Jade does not believe in, in the hype, what's going on. Uh, this definitely had a lot of like peer pressure vibes. Like, obviously, you know, Riley's there. He's younger than them. And what do you do at a party when you're a younger kid with older people is you want to do the things they're doing. You try to impress them. You know, you want to be cool. And uh, he did turn down cigarettes, like, early in the movie, which I thought was kind of funny because he's like, well, I don't want to get cancer. And they're like, do you think you get cancer, like, the first time? Which is kind of, like, foreshadowing. Which, which, which was, like, him and his other, like, 12-year-old friend. Yeah. 
it gave me the vibes of like, do you remember um, the California High thing that people would do? Where they'd essentially just like deprive you of oxygen. Oh my god, yeah. It made me think of that a whole lot because so dumb. like it it's not as if they're doing hardcore things. It's like things that seem kind of benign but like could a hundred percent kill you. Like a hundred per like don't don't do any of these things. Like don't allow demons or ghosts to come into your body, but like also don't do California highs because you could die. You could have a seizure and die. PSA, the more you know. Um, nah, 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 nah. So, uh, we don't want to give too many things away about this movie just because I feel like we kind of like watched the trailer and then figured out what we Yeah, like talk discussed about. like what would be not too much to talk about. So I feel like that synopsis is kind of like the bare bones of what you need to know going into this. Um, it was, I think, 90 minutes, mm -hmm. and there wasn't a lot of, like, lag in it. I didn't feel like it drug on at all. I don't feel as though we could have cut parts out of it. And there's a lot in the movie that I feel like is left up to the, the viewer to interpret it. As, you know, there's there's all these different... Like, it's not, like, hand-fed to you. It's not spoon-fed to you. And you're kind of like, well, that could have been this, or this could yeah. have been tied to this. There's a lot of, like, personal development theory that can, come out, that can come out of this. You can say, like, you know, well, I think that she was this, and I think that he was this, and I thought, I think that, you know, blah, 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 blah. So there's a lot of, like... It leaves a lot, it leaves a lot open for interpretation... Um, like we had a cool discussion on the way yeah, home. Yeah, because like, we were like, because we had we had a couple we had a couple of theories, all of which really could be right, but the ending isn't a cliffhanger. It gives it some kind of finality, if that makes any sense. Like you, you, the 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 end of the movie comes to like it comes it comes to a point it comes to a conclusion yeah it comes to a conclusion but everything before that how you get to that conclusion you can really go a couple of different ways with it so it, that's that's that was a very fun part about it so yeah. what did you like about the movie i liked um how incredibly brutal this movie was like so they did that. use a like a lot of practical and cgi together which actually worked really well for me for mm -hmm. once. And, like, the way the movie opens that we're not going to give away is uh, unexpected. And, like, you don't get, like... It's shock. It's shock value. It's very shocking. But you don't get, like, it's not, like, in your face. It's kind of, like, more inferred. But it's still, like, oh, shit. Like, that's what we're in for? Okay. And then after a certain... Um, there's a certain scene where someone overstays their welcome with the hand and then you're kind of like well what's it's it's like two seconds of like nothing and, and then like, what's gonna happen and then chaos and then it's just like in your face like you just get punched in the face with what is going on and it was a mix of like feeling horrifically bad for someone and just like being so like visually assaulted by what is transpiring it was so good um i know there were a couple scenes you had to like kind of point it out to me because i wasn't reacting where people you're like hidden in the background there's people there's someone in the corner there's people there like there's the, something there yeah there, there there was like something there that followed them from the hand yeah. So, it w but it was like, I had to be like, yeah, in the background, next to the bookcase, crouched down, you know, yada, yada, yada. And a little, a little context, if you're new here, like, I have visual impairment, so I'm not going to pick up on those things. And if I do see movement, I'm not going to be able to figure out what it is. So it's like very helpful to have a seeing eye dog to let me know what's going on. I very much appreciate that. You're one of the best. Yeah. Um, um, what did you like about the movie? I, oh, also the the uh, the score I thought was great. I thought it was wonderful. The score the score was was good. I really liked 
the fact that this was an original idea. It was, yeah. Like, I've never watched a movie that I, I, I don't even know something I could compare to this movie. And that is such a breath of fresh air, especially in the horror genre where I feel like it, it's starting to get diluted and everybody's doing this, this, or this. Or this, like a bunch of remakes. Yeah, or remakes. This was an original thought by a production company and by a writer and production company in Austru- Austral- Australia who sent it to A24 and A24 is like, we love this, we'll distribute it. Oh, they had it at a bunch of festivals. Yeah, and, and it, they and bid it did, on it. And it did, and it did fantastic. Yeah. And it was like, and it was, I think part of the reason was is it's an original idea. It isn't like, you know, it's, it's granted it does have ghosts. Or whatever they or are. Or whatever, whatever they are in and stuff like that. But the whole hand concept and the, and it's like, I really feel like this is the way like kids would react if, if like this happened. Yeah. And they would use it as a drug. Yeah. Cause they're like, oh, it feels so good. And then everyone's like, well, I want to feel good too. Yeah. So it's like one of those, one of those things where it's like, it's like, it's realistic in the point of the way teenagers would react to some way some stupid shit like like this it was real realistic in a lot of their reactions oh yeah it, it was a very original story like i said i couldn't think of anything to compare it to because it was so like unique and so original and like the whole like the story of the hand like it got pat oh i you know this dude gave a friend it to of me a friend of, of a yeah this this dude I went and did it at a at a party, and he gave it to me and let and let me take it. And when you find out the origin story of the hand of who had it before and everything with with that story, which is actually the opening, it's it's really cool. Like the whole concept of it, like nobody knows where it came from, nobody knows the original part of it, and right up to everything with the hand, right up to the end, I thought was done very very well. I did like the ending. I thought the ending was. Uh, the ending was like I said, like that that cone. It came down to a point where it's like we don't know what happened from the middle to right before the end, but the end is a finality. The end is absolute. tragic. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's definitely a fucking tragic. ouch in the feelings. But it's it was absolute. It was it was final. It was. Like, you know, it wasn't, it was like a cliffhanger. Like, it was just to do a cliffhanger. Yeah. Maybe we want to do a second movie. Like, no, they were like, this is how the shit ends. Yeah. Boop. And it's interesting, uh, like, what you were saying with the, the hand, like, going from person to person. They never go into detail, like, that person that currently has it. They never really go into great detail about, like, the circumstances they acquired it or, like, what happened prior I think because it would maybe deter people or maybe it wouldn't actually because people because kids are stupid yeah people get alcohol poisoning as teenagers and they still drink and they know what happened so like that probably wouldn't stop them actually in a random cornfield in rural Pennsylvania when your mom thinks you're sleeping at your best friend's house good lord Um, that was my job I mean the only the only other movies I could think to even say like there's some aspects of this like uh like the ouija movies or like possession movies in general but it's not really a possession yeah. movie yeah. and that thing like it's like that there's like, only like those are like forced possessions like you yeah like, these are people these, these people are being possessed on purpose well i mean like the only similarity there is just like there's a conduit to like this realm and whatever realm they're messing with like that's the only similarity i could think of i got a lot of vibes of uh drag me to hell no because that movie's hilarious and gross the gumming part um i got vibes of do you remember the mom in hereditary Mm -hmm. i got kind of like the the mia character i got some vibes of that i don't know if maybe they drew some inspiration from that or you know what i thought it was interesting it, it it was I, I I really can't think of something to like nit, like if if I would pick something about this that I didn't like it would probably it would probably be something very like nitpicky and I just I I can't I can't think of anything off the top of my head like I really enjoyed the movie um I liked the I did like I liked every aspect of it I liked that it wasn't a happy story 
I like it wasn't like some like hero comes in at the end and saves everybody or anything crazy like that. This was very original, very refreshing. I can't really think of anything to complain about it. I feel like there wasn't like a wrong or or there wasn't like a right or wrong answer to the the issue that they had for mm-hmm. the bulk of the movie that they had opened the door and couldn't close it like everything that some of the characters were doing like was it right was it wrong like like there's no answer it's it's all like shades of gray of just everything's bad which is kind of like i think that adds to the atmosphere of this movie is just like it makes you tense because you're like well like you, you don't know what if they're do doing do? right like yeah and i like the fact that like it, they didn't like they had no idea yeah if they were doing the right thing or not it wasn't like they could go to an expert and be like and the last what does this little hand want minutes of that movie was oh my god crazy yeah intense intense um i can't think of anything i really had an issue with what would you honest. rate it then i would probably give this like a solid four four and a half out of five like i really really liked this movie i was a bit concerned um that it was overhyped or that people were gonna it was either gonna be overhyped like veronica that was terrible (laughs) um that was like you're gonna leave the theater in 10 minutes no like because it's all and this doesn't have like jump scares in it but like there were moments that like genuinely unnerved me I like the creep scares they have in this, where they put the pe- they just like, and they show this in the trailer, but the hands coming over the sh- the shoulders, and they're all black, and like tarred, and they're like, Yucky. coming over the shoulder, and they were like, like, pulling on. I was like, oh my god, like you can feel that when they can when they can put a scene like that in there, and you feel it on you. They've done a great job. I would give it a four and a half. Also, I will 100% watch this movie again when it comes out on streaming. I will definitely watch this movie again in the comfort of our home. Um, but it, it it was like for me, I couldn't. I, like I said, I can't find. I can't find anything. This isn't the greatest movie I've ever. I've ever. I've ever. I've ever watched. That's Cry Wolf. Um, but I uh, I really can't think of anything that was nitpicky about it. The original story, the score, the mm. score was good. The acting was fantastic. And those are like young. They're very young. Actors. Young people. I don't know that they're actually children or like high school age. I think I think they're in their early twenties. But like they're very convincing as high school age kids, and I felt like. They, it was so natural. Like everything in their performance was so natural, and uh, the lady that played Zelda from the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina's in this, which I was like super stoked to see. I love her. And that, and that's the other thing. The three main char- characters are not well well known actors. Not yet. Which, which, yeah. which I will prior to this movie, which I think that really helps because you don't have character association with that actor with a dip with a different char- character and i think that really helps in original stories like like this to not have that character association there from the actor like if it was like chris evans playing like the younger brother we're all gonna be like oh that's captain america or if it's like you know like jenna ortega playing like uh mia, M- mia we're all gonna be like oh it's wednesday adams you know i feel like that does take away from movies which is unfortunate unfortunate we don't do it on purpose but it's unfor- it's unfortunate when it ha- when it happens but all in all it was a great time i really enjoyed the movie i enjoyed that we were almost by ourselves in a big movie theater to watch it and i'm sure the people that were there like kind of hated us because <laughs> we're pretty vocal <laughs> yeah i will the one the one scene like the opening scene where she said it was an oh shit moment i literally went oh shit like I that it really oh good shock value there yeah so all right tell them where to find us you can find me on oh god I haven't done this in a long time I'm on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews TikTok Instagram Twitter Twitter at Reanimator you can also find my reviews in podcast form via the, the Farsighted, Farsighted Network. Network on iTunes. 
please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. You can find me on Kick. We're no longer on Twitch. On Kick and on TikTok at Repeat Viking. I like that you say we like the royal we. Yes. We are no longer on Twitch. We are no longer on Twitch. Our contract shmish, with shmish, Twitch shmish. expired and we have signed with Kick. So that's exciting. Yes. Um, so. Also, like, if you get the chance to see this in the theater, you should probably see this in the theater. So I feel like just on the bigger scale, it's like the ambiance super cool. of it all. Yeah. It was. It was fantastic. Mm-hmm. I look forward to watching this movie again when it up uh, when it comes. I'm gonna when it buy comes it. Out on yeah. streaming. Yeah, I meant like when it comes out on day. She's just gonna buy it. She's gonna buy it. And we're gonna watch it again, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. It was a great time the first time, and you know, I don't know what else to say. Talk to me.